so hello everyone this is chicken ticker and uh, I want to bring you this gameplay I found on the on Duster uh, this guy called uh, Bart uh, or something like that I can't I, don't, I can't remember but yeah he's he said uh, he announced me to use his video and if you're watching please tell me if you think the Japanese tank are good because I'm on the tier 4 key keyhole or something like that uh, yeah and I love busting Japs so I'm not sure if they're good tanks anyway the tank, the tier 7 looks a bit retarded to me, it's a bit too fat, a too, bit, too, bit too big and um, in real life the Japanese tanks are really crap as you know um, your language is, I don't know what the hell it is, it's just Yuaga something like that. Okay, I do not understand your language, uh, you can state what, what language it is uh, whichever country you're from uh, okay so he's camping on this ridge as we all know Mo half of the enemy, t enemy team is uh, tier 6 uh, so the game is not it's not those massively <coughs> good matchmaking but it is it's good anyway you can have better matchmaking with less tier 6 opponents but you know uh, more 6 mean more tier 6 means more more damage uh, with some with one tier four on our team and two tier four on the on the enemy team, so sniping looks like this tank's got some serious um, sniping ability, uh, or not not as much as the Germans. I don't think the the Japanese lack alpha damage in my opinion. Um, I'm more at the oh, what the hell something popped in my in my uh, in my mind some French. Uh, okay. Anyway, this stupid BDR. I think French tanks got one of the ugliest designs. Uh, they French people think that they know a lot, but um, you know they can't. They can't design for shit. Uh, check out the design, okay? Um, Air Max 40. What a fantastic futuristic design. Turned out to be a piece of turd on the battlefield. Air Max 38. <coughs> Air Max 38. Yeah, crap as shit. Um, French um, Air LV 39. Turd on tracks. Uh, Again, that's crap. And um, what other tank? What other tank am I thinking about? AM AMX 12D, a failure of its kind. Um, lacks real ability in real battlefield situations, but the uh, the French did correct it with the AMX 13, 75, and 90. The 75 and 90 looks very, very, I would say, strange in design. The French just, in their mind, they have this philosophy in my opinion they have this opinion in themselves that they they are the boss in uh, designing and stuff like that because you know they got famous artists and stuff like that um, yeah they think they're full of themselves about uh, programming uh, well not not sorry not programming um, simple wait let, let's go back into the game the Churchill 3 from APC or not twat not twat a premium twat Shoot to the wall, mate. Okay, he's. Yeah, use sniper mode. Fire shots into him. The Japanese armor is ridiculously weak. Shooting Churchill, you shoot it right on the mantle. That's the weak spot. Um, yes, he's nailing the correct base. Uh, he bounced somehow this time. Check out the pen of the gun 155. Uh, adequate for tier 6, I would say. Not good, adequate is the right word. Adequate. So the tank's mobility for its own size is quite decent. I do not have any stats or clue how heavy this tank is. Uh, I guess it's not heavy because Japanese tanks have crap armor. They just have notoriously big size in comparison to its own uh, armor. It's crap tanks. Uh, Okay, let's start talking about something else. Um, yeah, the French. The French designs, I would say they think that they are good at designing, and in real fact, that I think most of the designs come out as a pile of crap. Um, I have a lot of, uh, you know, evidence supporting my my series. For example, a lot of tanks, they have, you know, as I was saying, AMX 40. How well is that design? Seriously. The AMX. 12T and AMX 1375. Those tanks, they you see this 
what in a time when everyone else is designing mushroom head tanks like the Russians T-54, T-62 mushroom heads and then you see like the Americans are making their patterns and stuff like that the, the French comes up with tanks that's uh, weakly armoured um, have some of the, the weirdest design configurations so uh, you know the best strange but um, we, we, we can give them excuse because you know they all think they're artists and stuff like that they're stylish uh, okay, Churchill gun, car car uh, gun carrier, piece of crap. Oh, uh, come on, come on, come on. I want them to be allowing us to destroy the the buildings as well. Getting nailed by that KV-1. Come on, draw back into position. Okay. And he, he, the, the thing is, Japanese tanks are just too fat. I would say focus on the KV-1. Right now, oh, gun carrier and uh, gun carrier. Um, okay, he's in one of those badass positions, getting caught out, getting shot by KV1. Poor shot on the way, shooting at him. But never mind, we just keep on retreating, and somehow he's not dying. How in the world he managed to survive this? This is outrageous. The game is not over yet. Come on, nail that KV-1. Oh, KV-1 using the 57 mil. No wonder why. That tank has ridiculous rate of fire. So careful. I would say draw back. KV-1. I don't know why is he using... 10 HE shots, I, I do not understand. This gun doesn't seem to me as a high velocity, uh, low velocity, high explosive shot to me. <sighs> so he's very aware of the map. As you see, he, he checks the map quite often, which is a, uh, which is a, a potential for a good player, um, for becoming a good player and also be a good player. Um, okay, KV1 dead. This team suddenly started to lose. Um, strange. Okay, he's on four kills. Can he get himself a. If he gets all four kills, he will get himself a. Eight kills, which is a Radley Walters. And can he get eight kills? It will be quite lucky if he can get one. Uh, okay, shot misses. I would say load the pen. In a case when your health is very low. Just load the gold piece. Okay, do some damage. Now you can load the HE and to kill that to kill him. And because you know you, you're running out of running out of um shots so it might be time to load high explosive against that that uh in the end because in order to carry this you need ammunition so he was able to make that kill and kill the enemy tanks kv2 had a hell of a game down that side um if you're gonna check out the after game stats it shows that he has fantastic um game on that on that side so e20 uh, the thing is, don't want a twenty to get to scout out the. Um, you don't want a twenty to scout out the Chi two. Chi two's camo rating is particularly bad. Okay, retreating. This is the thing he's doing. He knows the KV two is on the other side of the map. He has to get um, out of the way so that the KV two, if he's on the other side can't hit him so he has enough shots to make the game a victory he's cap the, the teammate is capping so it shows that the kv2 has to come and get them so he, he, he's in a really favorable position right now with the vk capping this out uh, the game's in hand i would say that it depends on how much health the, the kv2 is um knocking on the tree uh, to provide cover might be a good choice because 
although if it's 1v1 I don't recommend you to hit the tree but if you knock down the tree maybe retreat backward for a bit and then zoom back into the tree after because imagine by some chance they were actually looking at your side and saw a tree fall I would in my opinion fire but it's a KV2 I don't think it will but you know just prevent that from happening if you knock down a tree definitely go down to a different position so the situation currently as I'm saying is good uh, check out my website by the way uh, my in my website it should be in the description below if it's not um, yeah you can find it in my in my other videos anyway uh, hopefully it's in the description I'll keep forgetting to put it but um, let's see if it's there uh, and one other thing is that the <laughs> The website, we're running a poll currently on it. Uh, check out the poll, uh, answer a few questions. Uh, yeah, let's, I forgot to to play that game. I had it on pause. KV2, come on, KV2. We, we, we want you here. Come on, KV2. Okay, KV2, one shot in. Okay, slow movement. Got that shot onto the KV2. Okay, another shot into the KV2. Now it's premium round, so. Oh, Infini! He's dead. Uh, so, uh, it is a good game. Uh, Japanese tank, 8 kills. Bradley Walters, Top Gun. Uh, uh, what is it? The Steel Wall, which is uh, somehow possible in a Japanese tank. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Yeah. By the way, this after game stats as well is not there stats uh, we can see that this guy he's driving his chin class Radley Walters steel wall and top gun and yet he still haven't got himself if mastery badge it should tank is really into some so team team stats wise he came he came of course on top uh, getting 2500 damage out the enemy team on the other hand kv2 did fantastically not having uh, the type G2 on his team and type G2 just basically destroyed all of them uh, so well played by him he was able to get let's see shot fire 52 only 33 hits something to worry about uh, uh, potential damage received 1800 very very good but after the premium he was able to make 9 yeah the, the game really good and I have to say yeah uh, tell me what do you think